Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the great snake dancer. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Made you watch it till the end. So it's just three secrets I'm gonna share with you. Stay tuned. See before we go to the secrets, let's watch your video again. Okay, so let's hear it. Uh, Three, two, one. Take to the set, like Jackie Robinson, rocking the 42 in my Dodger fit. TTM. 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 Okay, Charlie, that was the video. But before we go to the three secrets, if you're a beginner with Premiere Pro, just take a moment and watch the video I did for beginners. Like, if you're a beginner, you know nothing about Premiere Pro, I make a simple video for you so you can learn and make an exclusive video for yourself. Like, you should take a moment, just some few minutes, and learn that, then you come back to this video. Trust me. Okay, now let's go to the secrets. These are my three secrets about the video, like three things I think if you know it, you can make exclusive videos similar to this. So first of all, secret number one. Okay, secret number one is camera handling. Camera handling. If you handle your camera well, you have a good video. So like, before you think about having a good video output, you should also consider good video shoot. Like, if you have a good video shoot, then I mean, you are a step ahead of getting a good video output. So you should consider adopting accessories like gimbal, tripod, camera stabilizer or anything. Like you should see, it's okay if you don't have any of these camera stabilizers, gimbal or tripod. But you can still have a good video or smooth video if there's a preset here called warp stabilizer and it smoothens your video. Like let's say if, if, if you take a video that's shaking, you can apply that on it. But note, it zooms in. So if you take a close shot, you don't have to use the warp step light because it's going to zoom in the video. So when you want to use that things, you should know. That's why I'm making this video. Like the first point is camera handling. If you should take any things like that, you should know how to handle it before you go to the next step. So secret number two. Okay, the secret number two is called the screen overlay preset. The screen uh, overlay preset is found in Premiere Pro and uh, I used it in the beginning of the video, like this, this play. The one that comes with the spin. Four, three, two, okay, so with this particular effect, you don't need to be a tech genius or you don't need to be a pro tech guy. To use it it's already made in the premiere pro so you just have to pick it up and just insert it but you have to be creative with it like with me i wanted to put our logo in it so when the rolling is coming it goes with the hand that robot got did with the hand so the ro the rolling with the, the globe behind and the rolling circle comes and the logo is in the middle so it's like robot got is playing with the logo and it goes it was creative i was just being creative on the video there are so many so many this preset in the Premiere Pro. It's, it's a place in the Premiere Pro called Premiere Library where you find a lot of these presets. Um, so you have to go through it, find the one that suits your introduction. That was the one I used and if you want to use same, fine, that's it, if you want to use it. But if you don't want to use it, there are a whole lot of 
Premiere Pro introductions or effects or screen overlays in there. So you have to take your time, watch it, and know how to apply them in your videos. And trust me, it's going to look cool. So you can do the same, or you can just choose to be creative on your own videos. So this leads to our secret number three, which I call both transition and screen shapes. So what I do is, you know, it's a dance video, and you don't want it to be looking boring. So you have to use good transitions and, and good screen shapes, so like the play dockets. You, have to need to, you need to get something like the screen shaking so it looks like, yeah, more, more creative and innovative. So where I, I normally use it at the place that, I, when I'm editing, I use the kicks or the dance movement. So either I'm working with the kicks or I'm working with the dance movement. So um, with the first one, the transition. I have one particular transition that I like or I recommend you to use. It's called the dip, dipped white. Where it makes the screen like a flash, a flash thing that comes on the screen like oh, like it flashes and and when it flashes, it's like hey, it's a wake up call. Like, are you still watching? Like yeah, it flashes and uh, it keeps you awake. And the screen shakes makes it feel like yeah, the dancers are using the things on it. The environments are shaking. Yeah, that's the third secret. And I don't want to take too much of your time. Take your time. Um, re watch these videos. Apply them. Try them out. Okay, so I gave you three recipes to make an exclusive dance video. So if you find this video informative or creative or anything that you like, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share with other editors or share with friends who you think you're interested in this. And if you find any dance video you think, oh, I would like to make videos like this, you can just comment the title in my comments below and I'll make a video on that based on your comments. So just give the comments, tag me in them. My social media is The Great Net. My video editing platform is The Great Studio. You can follow. And no, I don't know you can follow. You should follow me because I, I need you on my team. And I need you to be part of me. So just, just hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share with your friends. Thank you. TTM, TTM, TTM.